Okay, everyone, let's take a look at Chapter 14, AC Motors. The main parts of an AC motor are the rotor and stator. A shaded pole motor uses a shaded stator pole, which is normally a solid single turn of copper wire. A split phase motor includes a running, winding, starting, winding, and a centrifugal switch. A capacitor start motor has a capacitor in the starting winding, which gives the motor a high starting torque. The capacitor run motor has a starting winding and a capacitor connected in series at all times. In a capacitor and start run motor, the starting capacitor is removed when the motor reaches full load speed, but the running capacitor remains in the circuit. The coils in the stator of a three phase motor are connected to form three separate windings or phases. In a single voltage Y connected three phase motor, one end of each phase is internally connected to the other phases. In a single voltage delta connected three phase motor, each phase is wired end to end to form a completely closed loop. In a dual voltage Y connected three phase motor, each phase coil is divided into two equal parts and a winding diagram is used to show the terminal numbering system. In a dual voltage delta connected three phase motor, each phase coil is divided into two equal parts and a wiring diagram is used to show the terminal numbering system. Motor nameplate information should be checked to ensure that the proper voltage and current are being used. An open motor enclosure allows air to flow through the motor to cool the windings. A totally enclosed motor enclosure prevents air from entering the motor. A motor must accelerate to its rate of speed within a limited time period. Over cycling is the process of turning on and off a motor repeatedly, increasing the temperature of the motor and destroying the motor insulation. The temperature rating of the motor insulation is listed as the insulation class. Anything that restricts airflow through a motor causes the motor to operate at a higher than designed temperature. Overloading causes an even blackening of all motor windings. Current readings are taking a motor to determine an overload problem. A motor with a service factor 1.0 is derated when it operates at altitudes above 3300 feet. Troubleshooting AC motors. Shaded pole motors that fail are usually replaced. However, the reason for the motor failure should be investigated. Some split phase motors include a thermal switch that automatically turns the motor off when it overheats. Capacitors have a limited life and are often the problem in capacitor motors. Testing three phase motors is normally limited to checking the voltage and current at the motor if it is used in an application that is critical to an operational reduction. Phase to phase short circuit occurs when motor insulation breaks down between two windings, while a phase to ground short circuit occurs when motor insulation breaks down between a winding and the ground wire. The internal connections of a delta or Y connected motor must be determined when remarking the motor leads. A DMM is used to determine the winding circuits of an unmarked motor by connecting one meter lead to any motor lead and temporarily connecting the other meter lead to each of the remaining motor leads. A continuity tester is used to determine a winding circuit for an unmarked motor by connecting one test lead to any motor lead and temporarily connecting the other test lead to each of the remaining motor leads. When remarking a dual voltage Y connected motor, the three lead circuit is connected to the correct supply voltage. The voltage across each of the three open circuits is measured. A wiring diagram is drawn when remarking a dual voltage Y connected motor to clarify the internal winding circuit. A dual voltage delta connected motor has nine leads grouped into three separate circuits. Alright everyone, that was it for that session. Next session will be reversing motors. I'll see you over.